he was actually explaining to me in Skype what he was thinking. I don't know. Alright, let's just go straight on to game three. <laughs> because this could be a very long night. And that's fine. It's good. Because I love Brood War! I heart Brood War, and you all should too. So without further ado, I feel like I say that line in front of every single game. I need to think of a new line. Can anybody think of an alternative to without uh, further ado? That'd be fantastic. I need to have four or five of those. I can just switch uh, switch around, alternate. Anyway, going into the game. Baku versus Gotunk, set three on Destination. Ooh, PvZ on Desti. That should be exciting. Uh, Baku will be the purple Zerg in the top position. And Gotunk will be the teal Protoss in the six o'clock. Uh, looks like we have a lot of people predicting long games, uh, or rather another long game here. Uh, we shall see. For the sake of... well actually, how many... hold on. I mean, last week... last week I did 12 hours, so... Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. You know what? Bakryu, Gotunk, you guys can play as many hours as you want. As long as we have entertaining games. It is all good. Uh, no probe moving out for Gotunk. Is he just gonna pile on in his main? I think he's gonna one base. We are, in fact, going to have a one base build from Gotunk. Is it going to be 2-gate, or is it going to be a tech build? Let me see. Or let us see. Uh, an Overlord is being made. And, of course, the Overlord is scouting in the right direction, since it is a two-player map. Gateway going to be going down in a second. What the heck was that probe doing? For a second, I thought he was going to build a second pylon back here. And that would have just completely, completely blew my mind. Oh man, double archives into double pylon before gateway. Gotunk, he is truly the revolutionist. He is the true revolutionist. The neo-revolutionist here. None, none of that woman toss stuff. Uh, anyway, looks like an overpool going down for Bakryu. And... Is he going to do a second gateway? Or is he going to get a gas? Or neither. It's going to be a second gateway. No? What? Oh. Okay. Okay, he's building a pylon. Is he gonna one gate expo? Is he gonna do like the Jangby one gate expo? Is that what this is? Or is he just gonna get a gas a little bit later? He might just get a gas. I don't know. Uh, there's a hatchery down for Bakuyu. And... It looks like only oh four lanes in production, not just two, uh, not just or not not six, not six, not two, but four. I'm pretty good at math, guys. I mean, I am Asian, so pretty good. Uh, Gozong is not getting a gas, so I would assume this is in fact a one gate expo. That's curious. Um, now on destination, that is a little bit viable. I don't know if that actually makes sense. A little bit viable? It's kind of viable because you see these bridges? It's easy to... I think you can actually block them with two zealots each. So, if you have four zealots, you can just block that off and get a natural quite safely. Um, yeah. Interesting. Third hatch. Ooh, Bakuyu. Actually, that's quite standard. Uh, seeing that the Protoss is one basing, he put the third hatch in his natural rather than taking a third base. Playing nice and safe. And now we're gonna see some Zelts moving out, but now he's gonna see a Nexus, and Bakryu is probably thinking to himself, what is going on right now? What is this build? Now he's gonna see the Nexus. And he's gonna run into the main! <gasps> oh no! Go Dunk! He messed up! No! Go Dunk! Go Dunk! Let's five Zerglings into the main! Is he getting speed? Bakryu should get speed before Lair, I think, with these links, because once he is once his speed finishes, he's gonna do infinite amount of damage with these links. Oh man, go Tunk. Go Tunk, you done goofed! You done goofed! Is that a drone? No, it's an overlord. And nope, he's actually going for lair first. What evs, man? What evs, Bakryu? It's fine, be that way. Uh, but he is going to still poke around with these things. Interestingly, with the uh, with all these zealots out, well, can he do any damage? Can he get a probe? Probe! Does get one probe and two probes, but loses three lings for just two probes. Not the greatest right there. Can he get this link or probe? 
Nope, just going to keep running around. The thing is, though, as long as he keeps at least one of these alive, he's going to get a complete scout off of everything the Protoss is doing. So there's a forge going down, and Baku's just making some drones. I wonder if Baku's going to take a third here. He should be able to take it quite safely. But, uh, oh, looks like another randomling running in here. Going to do a little uh, attack in on the Nexus. Now, I think Baku might actually be going for Aspire and Mutalisks right here, because the Protoss tech is so late. Look at that, the core has just started and the lair's finished. So if Baku goes Mutas, Gotong's going to have to build a million cannons to defend. And Baku actually throwing out some more links right now. Does he have link speed on the way? Okay, he does have link speed on the way. Uh, oh, there's actually that's actually probably in response to all these Zelts, but a lot of links coming out right now, and speed is going to finish before the Zelts can get home. So Baku, well, actually, no, it's going to be close, but Baku might be able to get uh, a lot of Zelts here. And can he get some more probes with these links? Actually, how many kills has he been getting? I don't know. One cannon is going down here. The Lings are racing the Zealots, and Speed finishes! Speed finishes! Is he just going to run straight into the base? He is! He's going to get the cannon! Oh no, this could be a very fast game 3 here for Gotunk. Gotunk is pulling all the probes. He's going to block the ramp, prevent them from going in, waiting for the Zealots to come back here. Baku is targeting down the probes, trying to force his way up the ramp here, and he does get up the ramp! Baku gets up the ramp. He gets a lot of probe kills. Six Speed Lings are in the Protoss main. There is nothing to answer the speedlings, the slow zealots will nowhere near are nowhere near uh, enough to catch these. And more probes going down. Gotonk is in a terrible, terrible position right now. Uh, oh no! But Bakuyu messes up. Bakuyu gets trapped. Oh no! Bakuyu messes up a little bit there. But I think the damage has already been done, and more links are flooding out here. Gotonk needs to block the ramps, the bridges, the the what are these things? The bridges, the roads, the black things. He needs to block them. And he needs to block them now, but he's not doing it. He's not blocking them, and the Lings are just running into his main. Oh my goodness. He's going to lose the cannon again. He's going to lose a Zealot. He's going to kill most of the Zerglings, but no, they're going to run into the main. Oh, they're going to run into the main. He's getting a Stargate. That's not going to help you. He's building a cannon. Oh, Gotunk, Gotunk. Gotunk, my friend. That is not the way to victory. You are losing probes. You are losing many probes, and now we have Lings in the natural. What is the tech? It is in fact a Spire. Mutas are on the way. Nine Mutas in production. The Stargate is not even finished yet. Gotunk has no probes. He's building a cannon in his main. But this has got to be it. This has got to be over. And holy shit, there is a giant housefly. Uh, <laughs> that just like flew right in front of my face. Ay ay ay. I'm sorry. I apologize. I shouldn't curse on a, on a, on a proper cast. So... Uh, wow, Godunk's actually only mining gas with one with one guy. He's got no minerals, so that's that's fine. Um, we do have the third base now going down for Baku, but I don't think it's going to last that long. I think the meters are going uh, are going to come in, and that's going to be GG. Oh no, Baku, what did you do? Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, Baku is now disqualified from the ISL round of 32. Uh, we can just not watch the rest of the series. Unfortunately, Baku has been disqualified for. Uh, or what is that genocide? I don't know. I can't believe. I can't believe it. I am in shock right now. I don't. I'm disgusted. You know what? Gotunk! Kill him, Gotunk! Kill him! You can do it! You have no probes! You have no units, but you can kill him! Kill the panda bear guy hater! Kill him! Kill him, Gotunk! You can do it! <laughs> How could you, Bakker, you? Oh my god. God, why would you do that? Why would you do that? He's still got no den. Is Baku just only going to make mutas and links? He's got no den. Anyway, Baku not going to go for the main. He's just going to kill the natural. Um, yeah, this is not good. He's making archives. I hope he doesn't make two. If he made two archives on one base, that'd be quite funny. And there goes the natural nexus. Um... A couple of courses just poking out, but they can't really do anything. It's 27 supply, 28 supply for Gotonk against 53 of Bakryu. This game is essentially over. Uh, Bakryu looks like he's just sending out links to check for hidden expos and the like. But uh, yeah, there are none. And there is the Den, going to build his hatchery square in the main, as he likes to do. Switching into Hydra production, once a few Hydras get out, uh, that is going to be it. There's, there's nothing uh, Gotonk can do when Hydras get into his base. Uh, he might just build a couple of DTs or something, but um, it's game is pretty much over. Hopefully it doesn't uh, drag on as last game did uh, for, for too too long. Obviously uh, this is quite an important match 
Um, we are in the round of 32 of the tournament, getting pretty deep, so, you know, both players do want to take this. And, uh, well, it's the best of five, though, so Gotong, even if he loses, will have another shot, although he will then have to win the next two games uh, in order to advance. <clears throat> and, oh, he does have four Corsairs now, so Mark has got to be a little bit careful with these Mutas. Corsair's pretty good against stacked Mutas. Third base is mining. And I think Baku might just wait for some Hydra upgrades to go kill him. Yeah, it looks like Speed is about to finish. Might just wait for range and then just come in and uh, and finish him off. Looks like a couple of Templar are making. No Storm, uh, I, I would imagine that's just for an Archon. And he's even got four guys on his gas. That is intentional. You do mine gas slightly, slightly quicker with four guys compared to three. Uh, it's just usually it's not efficient to have that extra probe on because you just it's not really that much faster. So, uh, yeah, we do have Hydra's just... Flooding out here. Uh, no range. Getting an Evo Chamber. Baku is playing very, very standard when, you know, he's got an overwhelming advantage. Uh, and now it looks like Gotang is going to move out here. The Archon. Baku. Oh, oh wow. The Archon targets the, the lone Muta. Doesn't target the pack there. Bit of a blunder there. Baku's money is getting a little bit high. But uh, it doesn't actually matter. Uh oh. Uh oh. Muta's going to engage here. Going to take a lot of damage on them. Going to try and split a little bit. And there go all the Corsairs. And here come the Hydras. Gotang. Gotonk with nothing to deal with these Hydras, slow Zealots, no Storm, all the Mutas go down, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that was actually quite nice, all those Mutas going down, but uh, yeah, throwing down another Gateway in the main. Just trying his darndest to, uh, to come back, but it's over. It's over, his fate is inevitable. Mr. Gotank, your fate. It's inevitable! I actually don't know the proper lines from the movie. I'm sorry. If someone wants to type me awesome movie lines to start, to start saying, that'd be quite cool. He's gonna go kill some overlords. Um, Baku's money is once again a little bit high. He's taking a fourth base. Uh, is that really necessary? Your opponent is on one base. But I guess, you know, he's playing safe. He is playing safe. And... Oh, going to catch the Corsairs. Is he getting Storm? He is getting Storm. But it's... It's not... It's not going to do anything. Like, his Storm would have to kill <coughs> every single Hydra. And it wouldn't even matter. Barker just massed Hydra producing right now. He's got the entire base around. He's got Scourge everywhere. Overlord spotting, making sure nothing... Uh, Sneaky's going down, he's got Lynx patrolling all the bases, making sure there's no hidden exos. Look at, look at the mini-map, Baku's got complete map awareness, complete map control. Uh, the only thing he's missing is... Uh, you know, well, he just needs to go kill him. That's what he's missing. I hope Baku just doesn't, you know, tick up the hive and get guardians. Oh my god, he's getting a hive! Uh, okay, alright. Well. Well. I guess we're just gonna chill until either Baku decides to kill him or Gotong decides to move out. Okay, it looks like Gotong is gonna decide to move out right here. He does have three Eye Templars. I believe Storm should be finished. He's not waiting for energy though. He doesn't have energy on one of those Templars. Uh, he has one, two Storms. This Templar doesn't actually have energy, but uh, it will get it by the time he moves out. Looks like Gotong, is he actually gonna push out or just secure his natural? He is going to push out. But as long as Bakuyu doesn't clump everything, and Bakuyu going in from the back and to try and snipe some of these high Templar, one storm goes down, doesn't really get anything, and oh no, sniping all the Templar, the rest of the units, not really doing much. He does get the, that group of Hydras, but now Bakuyu coming in from all sides. The speed on Archon is not enough. GG, and Bakuyu goes up 2-1 in the series. Very, very nice. Alright, so... The Mustache Zerg is up. I think, I think I have a new nickname, though. He's no longer the Mustache Zerg. He is the Panda Bear Guy Killer. That's right. Bakuyu is, in fact, a hater of Panda Bear Guys. Uh, in any case. Game 